Uh, I think one of the challenges I was dealing with was that I could make some decent content I feel like people could watch, but I wanted to figure out exactly what I was meant to do. I had a lot of hobbies and things I wanted to cover, but I didn't know what exactly to cover. I, th I got an email from one of my professors uh, and they invited me to take this course. So that's how I learned. I think it was great uh, seeing different people's perspectives, especially from the guest speakers. And then I learned exactly what type of content I wanted to create and gave me more passion and inspiration to do what I do. Um, I can say I know exactly what my next four to five videos will be now. So I'll explain this course. Um, if you're having troubles with inspiration or exactly what type of content, it, this course is really good at making you question why you're making your content. And it goes over a lot of more philosophical questions. Uh, probably the biggest takeaway I'll have is that whenever I'm making content, before I start anything, I'll ask myself why I'm doing it because it actually turns out that people can see your enthusiasm. So if you're truly passionate, you're truly happy about something, it just gets conveyed in the camera and then the video just ends up being so much better. I would say for either people who, two types of people, one is like either you haven't started at all and you just have a cell phone and you want to start, or if you've already finished all of the basic production things and you need more inspiration to think about more about the why about making content. Uh, I think the in-person has a lot of advantages. So for example, you get to interact and talk with a lot of the other students, you can create new ideas. Also, it's a great time to have more lively Q&A with any guest speakers. Yeah, with video specifically, um, it's great because you can interact with everything and see everything such as moving lights all dynamically rather than through a video screen.